if you ban, if you block too much couriers, what's going to happen? You have nobody to deliver the order. My question is, how do you balance? In our situation, being you know, almost a global company, it's really market specific to basically the needs and the appetite of the business that's going on within that market. So. You know, we communicate with each other, make sure that markets let us know if they are experiencing a situation where we can't just action a courier to the end result of being banned, where they need that talent pool available to them. So in some markets, it's exceptionally restricted. There, there's some instances where they, they won't even ban a courier except for the exceptionally extreme cases of anything happening. But you really have to play to your business appetite, unfortunately, in some instances and let some things slide by where it's just warning after warning. I do like the idea of a temporary ban. It's actually a pretty good idea in those markets where there may be that need for additional drivers and you just want to make them know that you are serious and you're not just going to be talking to them in this instance. You, you are going to actually them to a certain aspect but yeah so basically ultimately what it comes down to is market specifics and communication open channel between those markets to let us know what's necessary for them so that they can keep that talent pool vested with as many couriers as they may need